Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a deco art video and just ignore these cups. They're in the frame, but I didn't want to take them out of the frame. There's too much to move. I'm working on a 16 by 20 canvas, black. Came from Michael's this way. And I'm going to be using a rainbow of colors, all deco art, two ounce bottles of color. I mixed that with a one-to-one -one ratio of paint to Floetrol. And then I add a drop of OGX Coconut Milk Hair Serum to the cup of color. And then I transfer them into squeeze bottles. And that's where I can get more controlled swipes. So I am using Lamp Black. I've got Dioxazine Purple purple pizzazz, purple rain, magenta, carousel pink, true red, orange flame, cadmium yellow, festive green, sour apple, and dark hauser green with ultra blue deep mixed together. So I've got lots of colors. So I'm going to start out with a light coat of black skim coat. You just want your canvas to be wet. You don't want it to be thick or anything. You just want a light base coat of black for your paint to move around on freely. This is a Wilton Icing Fondant Spreader. It's great for putting paint on a canvas pretty quickly and evenly and you know, it will self-level. The paint will self-level on its own. So you don't really have to worry about that later on. So that looks pretty good. So I haven't done any swiping videos in a while and I wanted to do a swipe. I'm going to just quickly Go over this with the torch to remove any air bubbles. And if you see something that looks like an air bubble and it doesn't move, then it's most likely a lump of something. So just you know, lift it out with your finger. You can always put a dab of paint back and it will level itself out when you're swiping anyway. So I was just trying to decide what I wanted to do. And I also have white. I didn't mention white, but I do have white as well. I, want, I think I want to do something floral with leaves. So let me start with... some stems. And I'll go ahead and do some leaves. So I'm going to do the, the deeper, what I call peacock green color. Then the festive green. And the sour apple. And also when you're doing this, make sure to have plenty of damp paper towels available to wipe off whatever you're swiping with, whatever tool you're swiping with, because you always need a clean tool with each fresh swipe. So I think I will swipe with white though. So I'm going to just put a layer of white above the darker green. And I think I'm going to use my credit card and do it in segments. So, swipe, 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 swipe
swipe and wipe. It takes a very, very light touch because if you press down too hard, it will take it down to the canvas. And it will also swipe the black into it and you don't want to swipe the black. You're just wanting to swipe the white and the green colors. The reason I like a credit card is because I can twist and maneuver it and lift it fairly easily. So you're controlling the paint more so than the paint controlling you. All right, I dripped some across the black there and my green is kind of wonky so I'm just gonna use my finger to kind of straighten those edges up a bit then what I can do is come back in with my black and kind of just squirt up to the edge and try to thin that line down a bit. So I don't think, I haven't done any like yellow flowers on something like this before. And I'm thinking that will be really pretty with the, the leaves. So for the yellow, I'm also going to pull out, I have a yellow ochre, it's more of like a golden color. And maybe I'll use a little bit, a little bit of copper. And basically I just want to decide what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put a copper dot Maybe just a hint of orange and the gold color and the bright yellow and maybe just a dot of white. I'm going to try this and this may not work. It's a rounded toothpick holder. Okay, not what I expected. So I'm going to take that off. So I think what I'm going to do is put a little black back down. I think I'm going to do a little orange, four dots. And the golden yellow. And the white. and just take a straw and blow.
And because my black is on the thinner side, it's bleeding out a good bit. But what I can do is, once it's dry, I can straighten those lines up with black. Then I'm going to take the lighter green and just kind of add a light contrast on the festive green. And then I'll take my skewer and just kind of drag the grain up a little bit just to give it some leafy look to it. Just drag out the, the edge of the leafy part. Like I said, my black was thinner than usual, so it, it kind of helps things get more cellish and fluidy, but that's okay. It's, it lends itself to a really pretty look, so I'll bring it up to show you. And these kind of paintings dry in a matter of hours. There's no drips or leftovers on your table. So just something a little different. But I like it. I really do. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. Check out the bell in the bottom right. Click on it if you want to get notifications when I post new videos. Check out all of the links below the video where it says show more on your laptop or computer or your down arrow on your mobile device. There is a Facebook group of mine if you'd like to come join. There's my PayPal and Patreon accounts. There is the Amazon recommendations link that has all the products that I use. And I have a new e-course online platform. If you would like to learn how to paint realistically with acrylics, anything from flowers to fish, birds. Today I did an elephant, so there's all kinds of cool tutorials that will be coming. And I'd hope that you'd like to learn and take your pores to a different level. Do an acrylic pour and then paint something on top of it. That's always a great way to do an artistic thing. So I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.